Hey Chloe, Brett Latcham here. Just a quick overview of your golf swing from the lessons we've done so far. Some things that you've changed look good already. The grip, the right hand's not so much uh, underneath. The right thumb's where it should be, the left hand's looking good. Everything with your setup here looks quite nice. We've talked about your feet. I mentioned this to your dads the other day when we were in the, uh, playing golf, but uh, some of the things you have in your swing and also with your knees, you can see here with your knees how they're kind of, everything's working inwards, um, and that's that sore point you're talking about, so I'm pretty sure dad's going to take you up to have a look at, uh, take you to a podiatrist and have your feet looked at. So within the swing here, the big thing that we've talked about, and this is the, the main, this overall the main issue with your swing is the amount of inconsistency that you have is just because there's too many moving parts. So the biggest issue with the moving parts is how your pivot works and how your legs tend to do most of the turning. We want your legs to be bracing a whole lot more uh, and your top half to be turning around. So the, the core of your turn should be kind of here um, at the base of your sternum, but at the bottom of your, your, your buttons here. And with that point, we need it to be the moving point to move behind you. It's got to be the initiator with your body to get your weight moving in and over, around and behind your legs. So your legs here right now are just doing far too much. Now that's just what you're used to doing. So this also creates part of your leg movement also is instigating and creating this longer backswing. So because your legs are not doing because your legs are doing too much and your upper body is not doing enough, your hands are able to be more passive than we want them to be. We want your hands, your arms and your upper body to have to pull you more into that turning motion in the backswing. You're actually going to have to work harder with your upper body to get you to get the club back to the top of the backswing. And right now, your legs are doing so much of the work, the club kind of gets slung back there. And when it gets slung back there, it's, it's creating an inconsistent motion. The other thing that happens here too, with your legs moving too much and your upper body not doing enough, we get into a position which is really relevant here right now. We can see how your hip height is quite a lot lower in your left hip than what it is in your right hip. We can see everything moving forward. Now it does balance out, but with that balancing out motion, it's also going to cause a tip and a follow through. And we can see here in the finish how your spine now is quite a lot angled back behind the ball. Now what we want is for it to finish nice and level. Everything here does look quite nice. Follow through has improved quite a lot actually. We talked about your follow through, how the right knee should be looking coming next to the left knee and how your face should be up here looking towards the target. This is actually also another improved part of your swing. Here the finish position is really, really, really quite good. Very pretty. Okay, so yet again the, the number one major focus is your body uh, working around and working harder to get behind the ball. Your legs are a support for your torso. Your legs should provide a solid base for your torso to turn around. Your torso should turn in a way that facilitates the correct arm and hand motion. We're also going to want you to have to work harder with your arms and hands to get them pulling you more in behind the ball. Okay, hey Chloe, this is a review. Let's have a quick look at this and see some of the reasons um, why you're working on some of the things you're working on. Obviously, yet again, legs being more solid, body turning around, so we can see here the legs are over moving way too much. Um, uh, this could be something to do with some, we can give you some disassociation drills to get more of an understanding of what your lower body is supposed to do and what your shoulder is supposed to do to get a feel for this. Right now, and just in general, I think, it, one, it needs to be practiced more, which I think you can do at home, you can do at the range. Obviously, you've got other, com other commitments at this time of year, which are very important. But the amount that your legs are moving there right now, that's, um, you know, obviously too much. That causes some other issues within your swing as we, as we move forward. So looking now at the actual swing when you've got, got a ball in front of you, we can see when the club starts away here. The club also starts away too far inside, but a big component of that is how much your legs have worked. If your legs were more solid, if your, your hips hadn't turned so much, that club wouldn't be in anywhere near as bad a position as what it is there currently. Okay, the overall motion there, everything's a bit long and crossed here, but it all matches up. And you see when you come back through here, this motion through this motion through here is really, really good, much improved. One of the things we've re really been working on through impact is to try and get that feeling of your arms rotating. 
obviously your legs with this gap here that's a, that's a bit of an issue the reason why it's there is because you because of the way your hips are working because that left hip gets too low that slides out it also has to clear out left which gets this gap look and we've talked about your follow through having a feeling of your right knee working more towards your left knee the, the, the view we had before from the front view you saw that your right knee was working better with some of those drill motions and some of that swing so everything's going in the right direction um, just need to keep on working on it it's you know it's not uh, you know there's some changes that we can make that that uh, we can give you some more better associations with how your body's supposed to move but I think you can do it I've seen you do it it just needs to be continually focused and it's not just a matter of you know, building muscle repetition it's also building strength as well which takes more time so that's one of the things that is going to take you some time is building strength in your legs in your glutes uh, and in your back and your stomach to make you to have you turn the way that we want you to turn good luck with the practice see you soon